Hey everyone, Cody here, and today we're going to be doing something a little different. I'm not doing a scrape painting. I'm actually going to do a uh, kind of a splash painting similar to the one. I'm going to show it to you real quick. You probably see it in the background. This is kind of a, this is what I would call a splash painting, um, where the design is uh, a splash of the actual paint. And so, what, first off, what we're going to do is we're going to do a background. It's going to be a little different, like I said, than what I normally do. I actually need to move something out of here. I'm going to move that right there. Okay, so what, essentially what we're going to do is we're going to start with the background. We're going to do a black, gray, and white background to kind of give it a, like, a popping background, but not one that is overpowering because we're going to put some, some brighter colors on top of it. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're just going to mix up our paint here. I apologize I didn't mix it up beforehand, but, uh, well, it doesn't matter. So I'm going to move that. And uh, so what I'm going to do is we're just going to drip just a little bit of the black kind of uh, across the canvas. And we're going to mix these three colors to make our background. So we're going to do that, we're going to do that, and we're going to do that. Maybe a little bit more right there. Okay. And then we're going to drip our white here. That, that, and that. And that should be good. Um, I may need a little bit more, but we'll kind of... We'll kind of actually, I probably will use a little bit more just to make sure that the canvas is fully uh, covered. So just add a little bit more of each one down here, down here, and over here. And then lastly, the silver, or it's actually gray, so sorry. All right, <clears throat> gray here and gray here. Okay, and I hope that you can see the full canvas. Perfect. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to press the the brush across it. I really wish I had a bigger brush, but I don't. And one of the scrapers that I tend to use is dirty. Um, so essentially what we're going to do is we're just going to pat the paint all over the canvas. And this is going to give it a really dynamic uh, look because not one of the areas is going to be the same. I really wish I had a bigger <coughs> brush to do this with because this is probably going to take a while. I may have to speed lapse this part. Yeah, this is gonna take a while. So here's what we'll do. We'll just start. Mixing in the colors normally. And I apologize for the angle. I know that the angle that you're looking at isn't very good, but I haven't found a better solution to be able to show you guys kind of the angle that I paint from. So for now, it'll have to do. Alright, 
So you can see that there's a lot of kind of indistinct gray here. And I, I don't like that because with that gray, it, it kind of mutes all the other colors. So essentially, I'm probably going to add a little bit more of the black and white to really create that contrast. And we're gonna go over the corners so that the corners are all colored in. Um, later on, when I go over the sides, I'll probably paint the sides black um, so that they stick out. <clears throat> so, get those, get that, make sure that the whole canvas is covered. All right, so now the whole canvas has been covered with the paint. Um, so it gives me, you know, so I know that the, the canvas is covered, but again, there's not a whole lot of variation in this this color. So what I'm probably going to do is I'm going to get rid of that. And I'm going to switch to an actual brush. Never mind, that one's stiff. Uh, let's see. Oh, I got another one. Yeah. Okay. So this one is pretty good. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just kind of put a little bit more. Uh, but these are just for highlights. So essentially, I'm just going to put these out there to add some some real contrast to the uh, the canvas a little more white there a little bit there and so this will be to really break up some of the color So this is fine. Um, this is going to give us the contrast that we need. So now that we have kind of the dark and white spots, it'll it'll give the background some movement and give it some contrast. So then when we have the next set of colors and the splash, it's going to make that pop. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and get the colors ready to pour the splash and you'll be able to see that as I do it. Well, I just wanted to show you real quick the uh, the background. I know that my I'm stepping in front of the light, so I do apologize. But this is the background so far, just so you can kind of get a better idea of it. Um, and now, okay, now I'm gonna mix the paint. So I have <clears throat> mixed my colors. I've I diluted them to a, a two to one ratio. So two parts paint, one part water. I after doing it, I believe it's still too runny. But 
we're going to go with it anyway, because again, if anybody's going to learn from it, uh, I want us to both be able to learn from it. Uh, so let's see, the colors that I have, I still have black and white out, uh, because black and white are going to give us that contrast. But here, I'll show you the colors here. So we've got this light pink. This dark purple, this orange, white, black, and dark blue. And the reason for that is to give uh, all these different colors, will give it some contrast uh, when we go ahead and actually paint the piece. So we're, without further ado, we're going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to move the paint. I have them on the end here, but I'm going to move them because I don't want to get other colors into them. So just give me a second to move those. I don't have a I don't have a whole lot of room uh, in here, so unfortunately, I just kind of have to move things as I go. Okay, so here we go. We're going to I think next time when I do the paint uh, for I don't know where I need to go. The next time I do the paint for the uh, the splash, I'll probably do. Um, a four to one ratio, um, or I'll just I basically add just a tiny bit. And it looks like there's a hair or paint, a bristle on the painting. So, need to deal with that real quick. All right. So that should be fine. Okay, so we've got we've got our painting here. We're gonna go ahead and do the splashes. <clears throat> so we are going to do light to dark. So we'll do just kind of rolling patterns here. Oh no, it doesn't seem like it's that bad, actually. And we'll go ahead and do uh, just a kind of a thin design here. So that actually didn't actually spread as much as I thought it was going to. So it looks like after it settles for a moment, the paint kind of thickens out, which I'm kind of surprised about. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and keep doing the colors here. I'm going to move these last two colors just so I don't contain, you know, get them contaminated. <clears throat> and then we're going to throw our white on there. Uh, let me move the lids too, just in case. I don't want anything to happen. I apologize. All right, so we've got those moved. So now we're going to go ahead and do white on top of that. And looks like we probably did too much right there. But that's okay. So we'll go ahead and just gonna do almost like a little circle design there. So now we'll move on to our other colors here. We're gonna move on to purple. And I was kind of waiting for that to happen actually, um, for it to splash off. So now we'll do pink and we'll push it off. And so looks like we've got kind of a lot going on and you can see it already moving down. So what we'll do is we're going to do our last colors and we're going to focus less on this side and do more on that side. All right. And we'll go ahead and do our lines and the last color here, we've got an orange, so there and there. Okay, so to be honest, um, the splash was too much. Looks like it's actually going to the edge here. Um, I think I'm going to let it kind of pull to the edges. And since it took up that end, what I'll probably do is 
Well, I'm just gonna let it go down to the end. So it looks like it's pulling this way. So I'm going to kind of tilt it here to kind of get it to pull down. But let's see if we can manipulate it here. All right, so we'll move it down this way. All right, so we've got a lot of the color there, so we're good there. So I'm going to go ahead and tilt it back to so you can start to see the marbling. Um, and I'm kind of trying to get some of that to spread. And you can see that that's going to connect. So I kind of want to run it together. And now it's connected. All right. So essentially what I want to do here is get this to stop moving. So what I need to do is find out where it's moving to. So it's going this way. And it's going off the edge. So I need to lift this side. So let's find something that I can wedge it up with. Uh, looks like I've got these little mini pallet uh, pads. I'll go ahead and stick those bad boys under there to see if I can tilt it. Nope, it's still going that direction. So I need it to come up on the side. All right, it's still going on that side. I'm gonna lift it up a little bit more. All right, it still wants to go that way, so find some more things to prop it up with here. <clears throat> and it's still, still trying to go that way. So I need to probably way down this corner. So what I'll do is I'm gonna put some weight on this corner. But see what's happening is it's still trying to go that far, which it would create a cool design, I guess, if I left it. And it looks like it may still try to go that way to be 100% on it. Yeah, I think it's still, it's slowing down, but I think it's still moving. But what I really like is this right here, where it's got kind of this distortion. Um, I really like that. This is actually still moving. Um, I'm not sure what's gonna happen with that. I think I need to get it to stop or else it's gonna go off the painting. So. I need to lift up this side right here. So let's find out.
<laughs> Such a challenge because there's so much paint on there. Um, because there's so much paint on there, it wants to just push off the edges. Um, so essentially what we're trying to do is trap it so it doesn't go too much off the edges. Some of it's going to, but that, I mean, that's okay because it looks kind of cool with it going off the edges like that. So, I mean, I'm kind of okay with that, with this. I just don't want too much to go off. Um, I kind of want it to trap, but what I'm thinking is I kind of like the fact that that was going over there because it was, it would have filled the edge. So I'm going to see if I can kind of blow it over there. Okay, so what's nice is it, it kind of did uh, go to the edge here. And so I'm just going to fill it to the edge. You can hear my kids in the background. All right. So I think I might tilt it just a little bit just to kind of get it to the corner. No, we don't want to go that way. I really just want it to go towards the corner. And there we go. All right. So I think if I can Tilt it just enough. Okay, so now, now it's just, um, now it's just filling in the corner. Okay, so what I need to do is now that the whole thing is filled in, get it to stay. Looks like it's shifting. Where is it going? It's coming out this way, so we need to lift it up. All right. Sorry. Okay. So, I mean, the splash paint did not turn out. Uh, here, I'm going to take this, take the camera here. Right, so I'm going to take it over. So I'm going to show you the painting. So this is what it looks like from the side. And this is what it looks like from the end. Um, once it's dried, I'll, I'll go ahead and record it. Um, essentially, I don't know where exactly the camera is, so I'll back up. Essentially, the, the painting did not turn out like I'd hoped. Um, I think I might have probably used too much paint, or it was too runny. I think it'll be an interesting painting when it's done, but it did not turn out like I wanted. Um, I think I splashed it too much had I just kind of went over the same ones and just just poured it without like splashing it it probably would have turned out okay i think i used too much paint for the size canvas that it was it's not a problem i think it's still going to turn out to be an interesting painting but it's not the way that i intended so one i think i used too much paint this size of canvas was a 20 by 60 uh inch so 20 inches by six inch 60 inches and the colors, like I said, the amount of paint that I ended up using, it was a uh, half of cup with a quarter cup of water. Um, and I think it was just too much paint for this. And I think I shouldn't have splashed it so much uh, going into it. And I think that's kind of the learning experience. So like I said, once it's done drying, then I'll show you guys the final product.